The swarming of millions of cicadas and their dull roar can be like a fingernail scratching a blackboard for some people. You know, you wait 13 years for this. <laughs> but for Jim Morris and me, cicadas are the key to some fun times with a fish that also gets a bad rap. Carp get a bad rap just because they're ugly. But they're fun to catch, especially while fattening up on cicadas dropping in the water. If you can't catch fish during cicadas, you just need to retire as a fisherman. We're using dry flies that imitate the insect. It's a windy day and the fish are biting. I know he ate it right there. God, as soon as he saw it, he came over and ate it. That's how it should be. Oh, he was hooked up. Oh, that's a hefty one. That's not bad. That's not a bad lead fish. Our first catch is a nice sized carp that's probably gained a few ounces since the cicada hatch began. Yeah, go. Way to go, Jim. Fish number one is a good start. Carp come up in shallow water flats and feed, but they're really spooky and can be very selective about what they hit. Our flats get carp and buffalo and drum, and sometimes, boy, if you don't have the right pattern and presented exactly in front of them, and a lot of our flats are muddy, so a lot of times they don't see the fly, so you have to be right on your game. Oh, did he refuse it? I think I spooked him. He's looking. Good. I got the. <laughs> That's the one we've been looking for. Fly fishing is our favorite way of catching carp nice. with cicada flies. It helps that the fish are plentiful and usually big, but it does take some strategy. This is where I want a bigger. Uh -oh. You know, we're we're just not willy-nilly throwing out here. We're trying to pick a fish that's up near the surface looking to eat something and trying to get it in front of them, intersect. So we're, we're, we're sight casting to fish, which as far as I'm concerned, that's the best thing to do with a fly rod is you can see what you're, what you're trying to catch. He ate it. Good job, good job. Whee! Come on, get your head up here. I can do this without falling in. Good job, nice job. Carpus delecti. Delectable carp. Now what kind is that? Is that just a common? That looks like a common. Nice golden common. color. Little whiskers here. At one point, you know, you'd look and we'd have four or five fish just all up, mouths going, taking cicadas. Some real violent strikes, but most just kind of coming up, sipping, sucking it down. That and fine. that's another thing to look for, is just look for fish feeding. I want a big giant single. The cicada buffet is set and I'm ready for the fish to chow down. It doesn't take long. That's a nice cruising fish. I had a heavy drag on a 20 pound leader. Oh, he turned. He's a little stubborn, but he's just as cute as the again. others. Come here, fishy. Cart. A face, a mother. Good love. The wind's still kicking up, so it's time for one more try with Jim casting. Got two back there. He's looking. He's looking. He just ate. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. He's got it now. Woo, we're going to have to get out of here. Casting in these conditions takes lots of patience. And the chase is on. Oh, stay out of the brush. This one's definitely been at the cicada feed trough. There we go. Look at that tail. 11. Boy, he looks he looks like he's 12 or 13. We can call him that. It's been a good day on the water for Jim and me. Just remember, you don't have to wait 13 years for the next cicada hatch. There'll be others across the state in the years ahead with plenty of chances to enjoy some unusual but rewarding fishing. I'm Chris Nishin on Tennessee's Wild Side.